rice course. The, the, the rice course, that's the rice course. Bloody hell, Steve Tooth is wearing off on me next week, I think. Let's go to Royal Ascot Golf Club and let's get in it. Right, welcome to Ascot. It's freezing again, again this week. It's like, what do you think the real feel is, Ollie? It's not warm, right? It's about five, isn't it? Yeah. So I think the forecast is going to be similar to last week, like heavy showers. Um, worse tomorrow, I think. I'm teeing off nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So today in the practice round, um, I've got Ryan Fricker um, coming along and he's going to sort of like walk around with me, map it out, um, see what to hit off different tees and stuff. Um, and then he's caddying on the Tuesday, which is going to be good. So um, I've also got one of the guys I'm playing with in a minute, which is literally in 10 minutes time. Um, it's sound as well, so we're going to have a chat with him, show you some of the holes and then maybe do like a little one or two hole course plug as well while we're there. So let's keep it interesting. Right, it's just a little um, three-hole match type thing that we did. I mean, yeah. Yeah. we're not... Like, Ryan actually joined me after a few holes here. Um, basically played the front nine today and then we had a look around the back nine, uh, checked it out, which I'm going to talk about after this bit of commentary slash on-course footage. But this is... So it starts off with a par three, 160-ish yards. And then you've got this par five, which is uh, dog leg right, moves a long way around the corner. So there's a big tree that right on the corner of the dog leg. And that's pretty much the line that I'm trying to take. So I'm just trying to hit a high yeah, second hole, basically dog leg. Oh, shut Back up there. Almost goes like right angle. So wheels will be fairly tight. Is that? That must be mine there in the middle of the fairway. I um, thought that would have been a bit further down last year with plenty. It was really dry. Obviously, we're getting no run this week. Um, so that is probably the line. So over the edge of the tree with a bit of a cut. It's been the normal fade that I've got at the moment. Yeah, so left myself 100, I think this is around 190 yards. Um, last year it was really dry and you can really get one going down there a long way. I took my hand off the club, so uh, obviously there's going to be some very angry people in the comments about that one. That was the proper bad one there. Um, he took a bit of a tighter, Will took a bit of a tighter uh, line here but had a similar yardage and there's a big tree that you've got to get over on the corner so it's just not worth really taking that sort of line even though it is downwind. The green is quite small um, and it's sort of shaped from front right to back left. It's sort of like at an angle but it's not very deep. So it does help if you've got slightly less club coming to this green but they are pretty soft this week. Um, this is Will for Eagle I think this was just left it slightly short now usually like week to week on the junior tour the the greens will be um usually around a foot slur for the practice round and then when it gets to the actual day they'll you know cut them iron them whatever it is they do roll them um just to get them a bit quicker so i try not to put, to pay too much attention to the pace on the practice day and really focus on uh, the putting green on competition day um much more realistic now hole three is uh, just a nice par four. There's a bunker which is 280 yards to carry, which Will is flying here. I think we're similar, sort of like similar distances off the tee. Um, I'm obviously playing my cut, so aiming at that tree in the distance left of the green and just sliding one off. Really like fan of this cut now. It feels like um, that sharp left one I haven't hit since. Touch wood, I'm not going to tomorrow but it feels like it's going to happen obviously it may happen like occasionally but it was like a roundly basis and now it is um it would just be a rarity that i hit that shot um and the the miss is like a sort of like a weak right one which is in play now this is an idea about sort of like how much slope the greens have over the first few holes so as a pitcher landed on the green um and it's just released way down um the shot really is having to land it in the fringe especially when it's downwind and it's pretty quick and then yeah after i hit this part ryan turned up and it was interesting we um we just talked about a few different ways to play some different shots um especially around the green like some of the like the chip shot on the next which i'm going to talk about in a minute was just completely different this is will for birdie oh, i missed it so uh he's one up for me at this point for a little three hole thing 
then you got a definitely this is drivable but the wind is into off the right and that is the wind for tomorrow as well um i mean in fact it's mostly into so i'm just hitting a four iron here didn't really commit to hitting this down the left of a bit of a cart so it's just a bit of a weak one to the right but to be honest it's a sort of a gettable first four holes like 160 yard par three par five around the corner fairly short par four and then another fairly short par four after it and then you've got a big dog leg around the corner like a double dog leg goes left and then goes back on the next but this uh, shot I'm about to hit now so I had a 50 degree wedge out thinking right, I'm going to land this on the front of the green it's a nasty just tight bare lie just off the green and Ryan was just like just get a pitching wedge land this just short picked out a landing spot for me it's the easiest shot in the world to hit just literally nudge it forward land it in the right spot and I'm looking forward to Academy on, the, on round two <laughs> So I think some of the stuff we said with short game, a lot of it, what you're saying, a lot of it is, is shot selection um, more than anything. Obviously technique plays a big role as well and having some feel, but shot selection, you can, you can make it easier for yourself around the greens or you can make it hard. Uh, this is that par five. So this is, uh, Ryan's just telling me to hit a two iron and just try and get one drawing onto the bunker. Wind is off of the left, it's sort of sheltered around here and this is... So I've got 230 I think back to this pin which is right at the back. Um, Ryan's just told me to aim for like the front left portion of the green on this par 5 because if you miss right, which I in, in fact did, it's perhaps got a little stuck. Um, it's just not a good shot from here so the miss is slightly left so I'll be favouring like the front left portion of the green it's an easy two part the pins actually in the middle uh, so we're just hitting a few pitches here just trying to get this one this was like more of a straight faced one but there's less margin for error Ollie didn't film the other one which was just like a slightly more open face and then we're just picking some possible positions that we're going to be tomorrow so this is um just in a little bowl in front of the green so the first shot was a so this is actually with a pitching wedge and the pin is in this middle bit and we switch back to the 50 um, and hit a few more and in the end found a decent pace for that as well so par three after this it's just hung out to the left it's wind into it's gusting up about 30 mile an hour at this point uh, and this is an interesting one so remember on the channel I used to putt off the green so this is like a dead lie and Ryan just said just putt this and he asked me like how was that and I said that's an alright putt what he's saying is he, that would have had to be an unbelievable chip from that situation off of that lie so just knock it onto the green putter um, this is a couple holes later par 3 just playing different shots into a few different shots into this hole and then finishing off with um, a couple of shots around the screen and then the next hole nine going up to the clubhouse is into win playing long um, hit driver off that tee which it is when the wind is into and then hit a nice wedge in here to finish it off so to the rest of the video all right it's on the way back to the travel lodge now which is like three miles up the road ten minutes um, yeah that was uh, a bit wet on the back nine basically what we did on the back nine was just um, walk it had a look at some of the pin positions Ryan was just telling me like which sides of the green that I wanted to aim at which sides you obviously want to avoid um, just your standard stuff really but so helpful having Ryan out there today like honestly um, I feel like that's pretty much the missing ingredient now like I'm getting my ball struck into a point that's pretty good um, short games improving week to week it's cool last week a blip really um, but the stuff that he was saying just different ways of seeing shots it just makes so much sense it's just like a much simpler way to play the game and I feel like that is now what's holding me back from you know contending shooting the score so definitely take some 
some of that stuff into tomorrow and then Ryan is caddying for round two so you know but the main thing is tomorrow is not to go out there like right I'm gonna try to do this just just go and try and enjoy it like try and have like it seems to play better like when it's a course vlog like that kind of like laid back um, you're still trying to play good golf but it's laid back and you're just I, I just feel like that's sort of like my level that I play best at so just need to treat it like just another course vlog to go and enjoy it obviously still hit the right shots and we'll see what happens um, but yeah better show you this week's hotel because that's what we like to do on the channel Let's show you the many hotels that we stay at every other year this one is just going to be a plain Jane travel lodge but we'll have a look beautiful day uh, yeah right so we're now driving into the travel lodge we're going to do a little hotel tour of the week I wonder if we have to pay 15 quid a night for this one as well. Absolute rip off these hotels. Like 50 quid a room and half the money is spent on parking your car. Get the out of the way, you <laughs> out of the way! <laughs> All right, welcome to the room. This is, oh, shoes. This is what we're working with this week. Um, very spacious and light. Um, love the artwork this week. Not quite um, child, I can't say the word on YouTube. You know what I'm gonna say, it's a four letter word, child something. Uh, this week we have an out of focus red dot um, in the water, which is quite nice. Uh, and the best bit, we've got a TV which is larger than 10 inches this week, which is great as well. And it, the remote works, which is great, it's always a bonus. And we've got a really nice view of Bracknell. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. What you think of our place. And Ollie's actually got two double beds. This is pretty true, much, isn't it? It's pretty much set up for like an orgy room, but yeah. Um, see you tomorrow.